We're seeing preliminary reports of as many as 10 to 15 percent of people with COVID uh, reporting brain fog. Now, with those patients, again, what's helpful is having a tool that can do a brief but more comprehensive neuropsychological battery to show the changes in their cognition compared to their age group. Now, if you already have a brain check result from before COVID, even better. But if not, that's okay because brain check compares against their age group. So we will be looking at age match normals. And so you'll have an idea of how that person is doing. Now that patient um, may come back with a deficit, let's say in attention or executive function. These are anecdotally all things I'm seeing post COVID, whether it's two weeks post COVID or three months post COVID, I'm seeing all these changes. Now, what's great about this is you do see that deficit. You do send them to various treatment interventions as necessary. Again, with a screening test, you won't necessarily be able to do this. At least historically, I have not been able to have sensitivity enough with a screening tool to pick up these milder changes, especially in younger age groups. They're consistently going to have perfect scores on those screening tests. And so that's not going to be very helpful for treatment. With brain check, you will see a clear change uh, should they be able to intervene and, and improve things. Thank you.